My March video exposed the TSA's nude body scanners as beyond worthless, a giant $1 billion fraud, and I want you to see it firsthand. Now, with airport checkpoint video I've obtained by Freedom of Information Act request from the city of Cleveland. While we watch, let me share what the TSA has been doing since March to keep us safer. Nothing but covering this all up. First, after my original video was released, the TSA began threatening mainstream media outlets against covering the story. Several media outlets reported that TSA spokeswoman Sari Kosha had sent them an email that, quote, strongly cautioned them against sharing the news that the TSA had violated our freedoms by photographing us naked with no appreciable security gain. Luckily, many journalists ignored this attempted censorship and published both the story and the threats, but who knows how many in the media were strong-armed out of covering the story. Second, the TSA has directed airports to withhold security videos like the ones you're watching now. The TSA has told both airports that captured me defeating the scanners that they are not allowed to release the videos for security reasons. These checkpoint videos show nothing that the public can't already see or legally even stand there and record. And the TSA frequently releases checkpoint videos when it's in their interest. I've taken one airport to court over this and they've argued in legal briefs that the TSA told them to lie about the checkpoint videos and pretend that they don't exist. The other airport wanted to avoid litigation and sent me the videos that you're watching now. Third, the TSA has asked our courts not to even hear lawsuits that question whether it's legal to force Americans to choose between walking into a machine that digitally strips them naked or allowing a TSA screener to touch them in their most intimate areas. And yes, the full TSA pat-down requires genital touching, even if that hasn't yet been your personal experience, because many TSA screeners quietly refuse to take it as far as TSA policy demands. But the TSA has argued that none of this should be heard by any court that has the right to a trial by jury, discovery, or even a witness stand. As one cannot possibly get more un-American than denying a citizen a right to a trial, I've taken this issue to the U.S. Supreme Court. Fourth, what the TSA hasn't done. Fix the problem I demonstrated three months ago. And airport travel remains less safe as a result. Most Americans now agree that the airport screening tactics employed by the TSA amount only to security theater, designed to make us feel safer rather than actually making us safer. So many holes exist, failure to screen cargo, TSA screeners arrested for accepting bribes, failure to conduct background checks on screeners, and of course the other failure of the $1 billion nude body scanner program. It's sheer fantasy that a terrorist could be intelligent enough to create a sophisticated, non-metallic explosive, but not smart enough to get it through the Swiss cheese TSA security. You can help. Number one on the list is opt out. If the TSA asks you to go through a nude body scanner, simply say, I opt out and request a pat down instead, which is your right. The reason this helps is that the TSA only has about 10 seconds to screen each passenger before the line backs up, and pat downs take about 5 minutes to complete. Not enough to particularly inconvenience you or make you miss your flight, but enough that if only a few percent of passengers did it, the TSA would not have the resources to continue to run the scanners. You may have noticed at airports that nude body scanner lines open and close without apparent reason, and too many opt-outs is one real reason why that happens. Second, if you'd like to assist with the Supreme Court case, you can get involved at my blog by donating either time or money. Third, if you know someone who works for the TSA, or you yourself work for the TSA, and would like to come forward with stories of abuse, neglect, or waste, please email me. Last, please continue to pressure Congress to disband the TSA and bring back sane airport security screening. I know firsthand that talking to Congress oftentimes seems like talking to a brick wall, but I know that when enough people do it, they do take notice. Thanks for watching.